this video, I want to uh, show you how to quickly make our uh, templates usable for other uh, printers aside from the uh, standard uh, DMPs, high ties that we uh, support out of the box. Um, great printers like the Mitsubishi's have some uh, strange page sizes and uh, different DPI settings, so we have to make some adjustments. But um, I want to walk you through that process, and it's really not too terrible. And uh, I think you'll see that it's pretty straightforward. So um, first thing uh, we're going we're going to use the uh, the Mitsubishi CP9550 as our example. Um, we have a worksheet that we make available to uh, customers who um, have these printers. It's something kind of like this. With this, um, we can uh, recalculate all of our XY coordinates real quickly to uh, get everything kind of shifted around. So uh, a couple key things, the uh, DPI mode um, on the DMP and high ties are uh, 300, whereas um, on this particular Mitsubishi model is 346. And the page size that we build for is 1240 by 1844. And the Mitsubishi, due to this DPI change in them, they have a little taller, narrower uh, setting. Um, is uh, 1416 by 2152. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into Photoshop. We're going to open up uh, the template we have. We've already got one here for us to use. And we're going to go, go to Image Size. And the first thing we want to do is change the uh, resolution to use 346 pixels. This is, as you're going to see, brings us real close to our 2152, but not quite there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tell this to resize up to 2152 also. And we want to make sure that we're using the um, uh, preserve detail setting. I might not have the font installed, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. But um, if you get that prompt, it means uh, you need to go to the README file and uh, install the fonts used. Um, we'll give it a quick second here. OK. The next thing we're going to want to do is go to uh, canvas size. And we're going to um, be wanting to look at, so we've got our 2152 height. But we need to uh, make it only 1416 pixels wide. So we want to make sure we have a center point. And we're going to actually be uh, cropping the uh, image from left to right. And we'll just change this. And we'll get a little prompt here. Tell it proceed. And we just had a minor adjustment. Um, as you can see, the design is perfectly fine looks great and uh, should print just fine for you. The next thing that we need to uh, address is that uh, while you'll have graphics that fit, you will not have the uh, proper XY coordinates for the photos. So we actually, um, in that spreadsheet that we make available, it will um, let you uh, recalculate these. We use a strip set here. So we'll use actually this full left hand column all the way down. This. Yeah. As you can see, it's giving me a new value over here. Um, this value is based on the um, portrait, so I want to uh, use those in my software when I go to bring it in. And again, just come on down through like this and really make our lives a little easier by pasting and then just update the uh, Y coordinate and that gives me all the numbers that I would need to use this photo booth template inside of photo booth, 3 software, DSLR, booth pro, darkroom, all, all of them that we support and um, you just do the same for the uh, left column down here and the right column and then you'll have all your settings. Um, you can save these off into a file. You can save a master file in your software. But there's uh, you know, some tools that we have available for you to uh, quickly make these types of changes. So hopefully if you use the Mitsubishi's, you can uh, begin using our great templates to uh, help further your business.